Okay, now we are going to do something a little bit more challenging. We are going to create three maps showing us the results of the presidential elections at the national level. We're going to create a map that shows us either if each county which won, was won by the Republican Party, the Democratic candidate, or the Democratic candidate. And then we are going to create one map for Republican vote and another one for Democratic vote. So this is the map for a Republican vote from 0 to 100. And the next one is a map for Democratic vote. And then the first one is the one that I was mentioning before, all right, the one that shows you who won where, all right, and it only displays the percentage of the winning a candidate. As you notice, this is a dual scale. The middle point is zero, and then the difference, uh, this is the difference, either more Republican or more Democratic. And as you may notice, the, the figures over here for the Democratic Party are negative because they've gone downwards, so they're below zero. This is going to be critical for the data set. So this little exercise will show you how important it is sometimes to prepare, prepare your data before you even upload it into Flourish. I'm going to go to this file called County Data because I want you to uh, focus on something over here. I'm going to zoom in, by the way, to 200% so you can see what I'm, what I'm doing. Um, if we, you go to the columns that has the, have the percentage of the Democratic vote and the column for the Republican vote, those will be L and M, you will see that these are not actually percentages. These are decimals. Okay, The maximum is 1.0, which will be equal to 100%. So it, I, may, I, I may not want to upload this data uh, like that, because otherwise if I upload this data directly, what will appear, for example, on a map like this will be instead of 0, 20, 40, there you go, 0, 25, 50, 75, 100, all right, the percentage of votes, it will be decimals, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.50. If you're going to do this map for statisticians, statisticians will be able to interpret those numbers correctly. They will understand that these decimals are equal to percentages. But if you're going to do the map for the general public, it will be better to run these numbers up by multiplying them by 100. So we'll get actual a percentage rather than a decimal. So first thing that I'm going to do is to create a, a couple of columns right after Republican vote, right, where it says percentage Democratic, percentage Republican. I'm going to create two empty columns over here. Column N is going to be called, I'm going to call it, for example, pair, percentage, dem, round, right? So it will be percentage Democratic rounded. And then the next column is going to be pair, dem, oh, sorry, rep for Republican, round. And now we are going to fill the column up with, with values. Now the formula to do this is actually quite simple. What we're going to do for column N and for cell N2 is to take the value from L2, which is a percentage of the Democratic vote, and then times 100 to transform it into a percentage. So I'm going to select, select N2, the cell N2, which is empty. I'm going to write a formula. It's going to be equals, equal symbol, and it's going to be L, uh, capital L2, so it will take the value from L2 and then times the star, right, 100. So it's going to take 24, obviously, because 0 0.24 times 100 is 24. And I'm going to select that, that formula. This selects the formula that I have written over here. It doesn't select the value, right? I'm going to copy that formula on all the cells of that column. So I'm going to select this, copy, that copies the formula. I'm going to select the next, the following cell, empty cell. And then I'm going to go to the right to be able to scroll down until the end of the column, hold the shift key and click on the last cell of the column because I'm going to paste the formula, command V. Now Excel is smart enough to know that if you copy and paste a formula on a column, you want that formula to update with the values that you have on the other column over here you took the values from. So for example, cell N4 takes the value from cell L4 and multiplies it by 100, okay? And you can notice that if you click on any of these cells, the formula will appear here on the, on the left and you will be able to see, for example, L7 times 100, L8 times 100, and so on and so forth. And I'm going to do something similar with the Republican vote. So in the case of the O2, all right, I'm going to click on O2, the formula that I'm going to write in there will be equal the value that I need to take is M2, which is the, the, the decimal value for the percentage of Republican votes. So it's going to be, I'm going to write here capital M2, and then times, that will be the star, times 100. Okay, so take the value from M2, multiply it by 100, select that, copy the formula, select M03, uh, all right, O3, I'm going to paste it here, right? But before I do that, I want to select all the entire column. So while, while I'm selecting O3, all right, I'm going to go to the right, scroll down, until I get to the end, shift, hold the shift key, click, all right, to select the entire column, and paste. And I will paste all the values, and it will paste, not the values, but the formula 
on each one of the cells. So right now we have the rounded percentages. These are the columns that we are going to use for this map and the next map, the ones that show either the Republican vote or the Democratic vote. But now what about this other map, the first map, the ones that shows only the percentages of the winning candidate. Okay, the first, It's going to load in just one second. It's only that I'm uploading all these videos to Dropbox, so it takes a little bit to, to load. All right? So the map that shows either positive values for Republican, or negative values for, for the Democratic vote, and so on and so forth. For that, we need to actually do something else. All right? So I'm going to go to the data set. By the way, before I forget, it's always a good idea to save this file, but don't save these over the original file. It would be better to save this as a different file. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to call these County Data Modified, whatever, Modified 2, or something like that, whatever you want to call it, Mod 2. Okay? County Data Mod 2. I'm going to just give it a different name. It's always a good idea to preserve your original file. All right, so I'm going to create a new empty column right after per round, whatever. I'm going to select column P, and I'm going to insert a new column that will insert a new column that will become column P that is going to be empty. This column, I mean, we're going to explain first what we are going to do. This column will display only the percentage of vote for the winning party, for the party that won, for the candidate who won more votes than the other candidate on that particular count. So, for example, if the value is 73 on the column O and the value on the column N is 24, meaning more Republican votes than, percent, than percentage of Democratic votes, the value that will be displayed over here will be 73, because 73 is bigger than 24. But if you go to this value, you will see that here we have a county in which Hillary Clinton got 75% of the vote and Donald Trump only got 24% of the vote. Therefore, the value that will appear here will be 75. It will not be 24. But this value will need to be negative because if we don't make it negative, what will happen will be that we, have, we will have another column um, and when, that will be similar to these ones, right? And the kind of map that Flourish will produce will be similar to the next map. It will not be this either or kind of map, right? Positive to the right or to the left, depending on whether we have more Republican vote or more Democratic vote. We want that column to display negative values like that whenever the Democratic candidate got more votes, more, a higher percentage of the vote than the Democratic candidate. So the formula that we're going to write here is a slightly more complicated than the previous one. It's going to be this one. Let's... Um, a put our course, let's call this column first, give it a name. So let's say, for example, call it them or rep per percentage. Okay, just give it a name that you can remember easily. Okay, and then we're going to go to the next cell. The formula is going to be equal, right? We always do it with equal, and we're going to write an if statement. The statement is going to be if O2 is bigger than N2, take the value of O2 and put it here. But if the value of O2 is smaller than N2, put the value of N2 instead and make it negative, okay? Because we're going to use negative values for, for Democrats in order for the scale to show those, those negative values over here. So the formula, we are going to write it, so it's going to be equal. If is IF, both of them are, should be um, a capital. Open parenthesis, and now we need to write the log logical test. The logical test is if... O2, O, capital O2, uh, is bigger, so bigger symbol, is bigger than N2, and we are going to write a column, a, co a comma, all right? Now we are going to tell it what to do if O2 is bigger than N2. If O2 is bigger than N2, write O2 on that column. Another comma, because now we are going to tell it what to do if O2 is not bigger than N2 if actually N2 is bigger than O2. The next, uh, the next one will be grab the value from N2, but make it negative, right? So I will write negative symbol, N2, and now I'm going to close parentheses, okay? So again, it's if, uh, all capitals, parentheses, O2 bigger than N2, comma, O2, comma, minus N2. Now, if I click on return, the result that I will get, it will be 73, obviously, because O2 is bigger than N2. If I go to the next one, it will be 77, because here the Republican candidate got more votes than the Democratic candidate. Next one, the same, the Republican, next one, Republican, next one. But next one, the Democratic candidate got more votes than the Republican candidate. So if I paste the formula, the value will be minus 75. So it takes the value from N2 and it makes it negative. So now what I'm going to just go to the next cell, go to the right, 
to scroll down, hold the shift key and paste the formula. And if you scroll down now to navigate this, you will see that whenever Hillary Clinton got more votes than Donald Trump, the value that appears here is negative, meaning more votes for the Democratic candidate. All right, let's save this file. All right, we remember to save it with a different name than the original file, so you will preserve the original file, and we are ready to upload it into our Flourish visualization.